So girl. Mmm. 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 It's so amazing. Hi boys and girls, aunties and uncles, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is CK and my channel is Ecology, where I bring my viewers, you, around the world to eat, see and explore. Today, I am back in the city of Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. I made a video for the food of Chinatown Bangkok a month ago and I missed it so much, I immediately booked my next trip, which is now. I am standing right in Lumpini Public Park. Lumpini Park, the first public park here in Bangkok. The land here was donated by King Rama VI in 1925 and it has been since a mecca for all the locals here to come and do their morning workout exercise. The word Lumpini is named after the birthplace of Buddha and it really is a beautiful beautiful morning here at Lumpini Park with all the locals here exercising. The metropolitan area of Bangkok is home to more than 10 million people, one of the largest city here in Southeast Asia and I tell you it really is a food mecca for foodies like myself. I know Bangkok very very well and in this episode I am bringing you to some of the hidden food here in Bangkok that I know of. All these food places that I'm going to introduce you to is only visited by locals. The stall staff know English. These places are very well hidden from the tourists and I'm going to bring you there. I mean, talk about entrepreneurship and chef and cooking skill. The Thais have it all. So get your chopstick ready and here we go here in Bangkok, Thailand. So it's breakfast time, breakfast time here in Bangkok. And the first stop I wanted to bring you is this coffee shop. Now there are coffee shops all over the streets of Bangkok, but this is no ordinary coffee shop. This is really sort of a two person man and they do everything. And one of the most fantastic thing about this coffee shop this makeshift coffee shop by the roadside is the toast. Look at the amazing, amazing toast that the Taokeso has whipped up for me. So this coffee shop, not easy to find. It's near Warachak Road and they make the most spectacular toast I have ever seen. A few years ago, I walked past this coffee shop and I saw all these amazing toasts that the Tao Ke So made and she makes it with holes burned with coal basically and that's why I think it's so delicious and I've been um, coming back ever since and I wanted to show you these incredible toasts and they also make uh, coffee, they make Ovaltine ice, they make Holic ice, all sorts of coffee that you can find here. It really is not easy to find so I'm gonna put a uh, point Google map below on the Google map but this is it. I think I'm gonna try this one first. I'm gonna show you this one first. This is like a chocolate, chocolate with butter and with sugar. Oops, sorry. This is like a chocolate butter with sugar. Mmm. 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 It's so amazing. And this is like with oval tea. Ovaltine powder and then it's drenched with like uh, condensed milk and that's how she does it. Mm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. This is super super sweet. The next up is the custard, the custard one. This has to be my favorite. Pandan custard toast. Mm. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. And just a simple butter. Simple butter bread. In this one. Mmm. I believe. I believe this shop is called J1. J1 coffee shop. But most of these coffee shop doesn't really have a name. So it's right by a temple. I'm gonna put a description near Warachat Road. They open every day except Monday, I think. So there you go. Great coffee. Also. Ah, amazing coffee. This really is the breakfast for the locals. Mm. Oh god. It's really amazing. Oh. Everything is in Thai. She only speaks Thai, so you have to like kind of point out what uh, they do. But believe me, you the pandan custard, the normal butter toast, the chocolate toast, and then the oval tea powder toast. Those are the must eat. Look at that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Seriously, if I eat this every day, I would definitely lose my waistline within two days. It is 7 a.m. in the morning and I'm bringing you here to Yawara. It's not really at the center of Yawara, but it's at the border with the city of Bangkok. I've always start my video with Yawara because there's so many incredible food here. And I am at a coffee shop and this particular part of Chinatown is uh, there's a large Cantonese community here. And believe me you, the most simple dish are the dish that makes me the happiest. So here we are at a coffee shop and uh, this coffee shop, a lot of Cantonese people, I hear people speaking Cantonese and I'm bringing you to have the simple dried wonton noodle. It's called Ho Sek Min. And I'll tell you the story how I discovered this because I was walking in uh, Yawarat and my friend was picking me up and he was going to take me somewhere and he parked right in front of this cafe, this Kopitiam, there's a car park. And then he said, oh, there's a really nice dry noodle place here in uh, just across the street from the car park. And that's how I discovered Ho Sik Min. They started the business 1974 and now uh, two brothers are cooking the noodles, are handling it. It's really a very simple breakfast with uh, the pork, siu yolk, and also the dried wonton. This, ladies and gentlemen, 50 baht, 50 baht. I really don't know how cheap can you go. Perfect for the breakfast. The size is perfect. This is up. They have the, of course, they have the soup both the soup and the dried version but the egg noodle here is absolutely amazing look at that egg noodle mm. 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 the wonton is just so crunchy and juicy mm. 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 Mm -hmm. the pork the best pork it's still in Thailand. Again, one of the most simple things that I probably have introduced in my channel, but nevertheless, for 50 baht, you get this incredible, incredible noodle. Look at that. It's so chewy. And I think the, the deep fried pork skin oil really make a huge difference in this whole thing. And I saw how I said put it all in absolutely gorgeous. Mm. 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 
I really are in love with the wonton. It's packed with all the minced pork meat you can ever imagine. It's super delicious. And I like it like I like it dry. I don't like soupy stuff, but I like it dry and easier to fill for you. Great start of the day for a great breakfast. If you ever want to come, um, I will put a description below. As I said, most of these most of these stalls are pretty difficult to find and only local would know how to find them. But it's still within the Yawarat uh, uh, district and uh, it's in the back alley uh, of a car park. And that's what it is. It's not facing any main road and all the customers here are local. Not a single farang or tourist in place. Mm. 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 I may have to order a second one because this is just so satisfying. Mm. And look at all the look at all the ingredients that she put. Oh my god. This is absolutely amazing. Mmm. 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 I may just order the one ton again because it's really, really nice. Yes, yes. Oh, just the whole thing. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, the boy. Uh huh. My 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 job. We left job Okay, okay, okay. So here I am at Warachak Road, and I am waiting for a very very special dessert. Warachak Road, the main arteries of uh, Bangkok, just right outside of Yawara, and Ate has been selling. Uh, and all for 70 years from her grandfather to her father and now herself and this is their family secret recipe so I have to explain what is a bird nest uh, bird nest is of course the saliva of a swallow so swallow the bird swallow oh thank you oh here come my bird my one okay 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 Okay, so I was explaining the hoja. <laughs> so I was explaining bird nest, and uh, bird nest is of course the swallow uh, saliva that sh the swallow spits out to build the nest. And we human harvest it uh, to make our Chinese dessert. So bird nest is uh, this very delicate white thing. So that is a bird nest, and we eat it with our beans. The large yellow beans, we, which we call back way or white cake. I don't know why we, we call that, but that's how we call it. I was walking past Warachak Road one day and I saw Ate and her uh, bird nest. And this is a hundred baht. And uh, it's absolutely amazing. And it is with the egg. You have to eat the whole egg together. I have never seen eggs with uh, bird nest like this but uh, this is absolutely amazing look at this very special treat after breakfast mm. oh. so let's eat the egg wholly eat the egg wholly mm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, okay. Wow. So eat the egg holy. Check her out. I would wake up early in the morning every day for this. How lucky I am. They don't do this in Kuala Lumpur because the bird nest uh, is kind of like a luxury dessert. But it shouldn't be. It should be for everybody because it is absolutely delicious. It has many health benefits. Like it soothes your throat and moisturizes your skin. It's nature's absolute best medicine for moisturizing your organs and your throat and everything. That's what I heard. I don't usually eat bird nests because I, I don't, I'm not really a fancy of them, but uh, I just really have to try this one out. Mm. Oh, it is absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, the, the beans sort of add a little bit of sweetness to the, the, the bird nest soup. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh my god, she's 70. Can you believe that? Oh my god. 70 years old. So it is lunchtime now in Bangkok and as you can see I'm in a back street, super super back alley back street, makeshift restaurant called J Kyan Tam Sam, J Kyan Tam Sam and I have ordered mince soup, mince pork soup, the garlic rice, pork garlic fried rice and an omelette. This is the crab omelette. All of this. Imagine, imagine. All of this cooked within six minutes. I literally watched the chef cooked it in six minutes. I am seeing a master at work here. The Tao Ke So here has been cooking here for over 40 years. And she is 70, over 70 years old. She's over 70 years old, but don't tell her that. She is so energetic. She's rushing for the lunch crowd and she's like going back and forth, running here and there. Barely had any time to talk to me, but she looks like she's in her 30s. Literally running around. This is her kitchen, her empire. And it was recommended to me by a local Thai friend. And the thing you must order is the garlic rice. Everybody is ordering it, taking it away for their lunch boxes, and that's what everybody's ordering. This is her famous garlic, fried garlic pork. Look at that. Mmm. Oh god. The garlic is just everywhere. Sauce and some chili sauce around it. Ooh. And put some chili sauce around it. So this is her famous omelette crab crab omelette that you have to order from her she, she speaks mandarin thank god but um you can just point it to her by watching this video that you want the omelette crab this is absolutely incredible look at that mm. 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 oh my god pork soup this pork soup look at that it's kind of like must order. It should put like a special thing onto it. I don't know what it is. Probably a secret recipe. But OMG. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. Ooh. I think she put um, sour vegetable in it. It's, it's actually, I thought it would be peppery, but it's sour. And it tastes like a tint of sweetness as well. This is a true treasure. She is the true treasure of Bangkok, cooking now for 40 years. So after you have this meal, you better wash it down with this red soda drink that I saw everybody is ordering. It's a red soda kind of drink. Mm. Ah, the perfect lunch. So I'm at my last stop, and my last stop, I'm at Talat Noi. Talat Noi is a district south of Yawarat Road, and I am at Tanon Ni Chong Sawat, which is off Cha Ron Road. And here I found something I have never seen in my life. This is banana, and the stall here they steam the banana in charcoal. They steam it and then they chop it and then they flatten it and then they doubt it with brown sugar and look at this this is a banana look at that it's so it's so very hot and the brown sugar is just absolutely perfect mm. Mm. The size, the size of the banana is gigantic. Look at that. Wow. Wow. The sweetness is like really coming into me now. Mm. Oh. They are here every day, except Monday, and they start around 8 a.m., finish at about 3 p.m. But this is absolutely amazing. I think that they steam it really, really well. And I think it's a charcoal, traditional charcoal steam as well. Mm. So after all this amazing, delicious food, you dow it down with this incredible Long An drink, which also you can find at the same stall here. My God, this is absolutely incredible and amazing. I'm gonna eat more after I finish shooting in the market here, but I wanted to show you the steamed banana. What can I say? All these stalls that I've shown you in this video, barely anybody speaks English, and you kind of had to point at what you wanted to eat. The hawker stalls in Bangkok are absolutely amazing. There are practically thousands of them littered across every single street you can find here in Bangkok. But uh, that's the thing I like about Bangkok. They cook on the streets, they let you film, which is really, really nice. And that's why I'm, I feel like whenever I come to Bangkok, I feel like I'm coming home. So the Thai people are some of the most ingenious chefs in the world. I hope you visit Bangkok and thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. Here are more videos of my trip here in Bangkok and Thailand. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye from Tanat Loy here in Bangkok. Bye!